friends, I hope you're all doing well and that you have been enjoying the month of May so far. In Brussels where I am based, it's very cold and rainy right now. Um, I know we need water in order to grow the summer crops, so I'm okay with the rain, but I really wish it was at least a little bit warmer already. Anyway, uh, I'm really enjoying my May Star Wars theme, so if you haven't seen it, go check out the video here on my channel. And if you want to see a bit more detailed photos, go follow me on Instagram at dottedplot for more details. Anyway, let's go and decorate June, since both April and May took a very long time of painting. I wanted to, to keep June a bit more simple. Um, it's also my birthday month, and I'm named after a, a flower in my native language, so I figured I'd just do a flower theme for the month of June. The flower I'm named after, my namesake, is the marigold. It's a very robust little flower which is a bit unassuming but is often used also as a herb and extracts from the marigold have been used for a long time in medicine and different uh, preparations so it's kind of a nice flower as well. Uh, I haven't the faintest idea how to paint a marigold and you'll see me struggle quite a bit <laughs> in that video, especially on the title page. So um, I'm mostly winging the strokes and the colors, but I promise the final result is actually quite nice. Also in June I'll be taking my yearly holidays from work, so I figured I can keep my weeklies fairly compact and simple, so I wouldn't need much space for big to-do lists, hopefully, but rather for a few appointments with friends and family. I will list all the materials that I used for this layout in the description below, but generally speaking I'm using gouache for the monthly cover page and my Crayola super tips for the weeklies. So let's see how it goes! My biggest difficulty painting these flowers was actually the leaves of them. <laughs> I dread painting greens, to be honest, in watercolor or in gouache because they very easily come out unnaturally bright or sometimes too dull, so it's a very difficult balance to strike. Um, but as they say, trust the process and in this case too I think the final result came out quite nice and it makes me happy. I'm always amazed how well my journal takes the paint, but also in this case I think it helps that I use gouache instead of just basic watercolors, so I don't get to use too much water to make intense colors.
one thing I did not like how it worked or actually it didn't work <laughs> as nice as I hoped was using my white jelly row. I wanted to use it to add some highlights and a bit more depth to the flowers. Once I was done with the gouache, the few jelly roll pens I tried, they just refused to write on the gouache paint, even though it was already dry, so I guess I should have stuck with the white gouache as well, but oh well, it's a lesson learned for next time. So off we go to the weeklies. Uh, I decided I would do a more simplified marigold for this as I was getting a bit tired of painting as well. And I did two weeklies in this two page spread as I said keeping it a bit more compact. And I wanted to leave some, some space mostly for appointments and very few to do's. Usually when I decorate my journal I listen to an audiobook or a podcast and recently I started watching this TV program dedicated to books and everything bookish and about writers. <laughs> so it's a very relaxing time of the week. very mixed feelings about to be honest and I had mixed feelings from the moment I started it. I'm not even sure why I decided to have this green background and I knew it would take me forever to color it in and I didn't even question if it's the green I should have used for this <laughs> but I just ran for it and I have to say even if I didn't love it at the time now that I opened the book, it's so bright and lovely that it kind of makes me really happy. So again, <laughs> trust the process. For the setup of week 3 and 4, I attempted this light bulb doodle with flowers inside. <laughs> I'm not sure if it looks more like a light bulb or like a chemical set flask instead, but I'm happy with it either way. <laughs> the orientation of the boxes, as you can see, is different for all the weeklies. Uh, I kept it on purpose a bit random instead of going consistent through the whole month, because, let's face it, there's hardly anything more biologically correct than the apparent randomness of things and it kind of felt like it would match the flower team as well.
last but not least, it's probably my favorite part of my uh, monthly setups, is the monthly trackers. I currently use this simple table to cross off the days when I've stuck to a habit or an activity. Uh, I like highlighting the weekends in the theme in or one of the theme colors because it makes it first more interesting and also easier to fill. And for the mood tracker I created this stock of kind of imaginary wildflower <laughs> so I can color each leaf with the color of my mood for the respective day. To be honest I kind of hate how I bought the legend for the mood tracker. Uh, I was a bit tired at that time already and I will probably end up redoing it by sticking a clear piece of dotted paper and drawing this part again but it is what it is for now. And the very last thing I did is to make my content calendar. I have all these beautiful stickers that I hardly ever use, so I decided that now is the time to do that. Also, I have few floral stamps that I rarely use, so I decided to combine them in a bit of a scrapbook journal. I also use few stickers that I got way back from home that are in Bulgarian, and they're just simple words like breath, happiness, Something that I love using uh, with my stamps instead of ink for stamps because oftentimes I have bad experiences with stamping ink. It usually smears, dries very slowly, sometimes it goes through or it leaves these kind of fatty looking marks on the pages. So instead what I started doing a long time ago actually is use my pens instead of ink. So in this case I'm using my Crayolas but I sometimes use the brush pens as well. Enough of me talking, now a little drum roll for the final flip through. Overall I'm very happy with how it came through. At some point I felt like I'm creating a complete chaos to be honest, but I guess I just needed that. Sometimes it's just nice to let go of the stress of things being perfect and create for the fun of creating. So I hope you like it, follow me for more and leave a comment to tell me what is your June theme.